adjustments? Marv, this might sound like a weird question, but do you ever wonder if any of your guys fully appreciate winning when they, they haven't experienced a loss? Um, you know, we, we challenge them hard in the fresh off level, and we really, you know, we, we test them with a lot of different good quality contests. You know, our freshmen play against Bettendorf, and, and uh, you know, so that's obviously an eye-opener for our freshman groups that come in, and, and then we really have a tough fresh off schedule, and, and so I think we really, you know, try to stress them, and then also in practice we really try to stress them, and, and, and ultimately we try to get them to have a mindset that a lot of times you're just playing to see how great, how good a player you can become, and, and then ultimately you just add them all up at the end, and then you look at the scoreboard and see if you got enough points on the score, to, you know, the scoreboard to win. And so I think a lot of our guys are focused on just really taking it one snap at a time, playing as hard as they can, and and uh, and, and, and self-evaluating themselves as far as did I how, did I play really well today? You know, I mean, I think. I think that keeps them motivated. That keeps them going in the right direction. No, Marv, this was a, a good program when you took over. What's the difference now? What you lifted it to another level? What? Not saying anything was missing, but I, you know, I would be if I. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed in that I, I coach with guys that one I trust implicitly as, as personal friends, but two as mentors of young men, and, and then they're great teachers, they're great football minds, and, and, and you know, I. I I think a ton of it is that, but then it's our student athletes. I mean, it's ultimately the student athletes got to be the ones about make the plays and, and uh, make the adjustments. And it's so much fun to see how they'll gravitate to it. And, and we throw a lot at them. You know, we throw a lot offensively at them with formations and motions and, and scheme schematic stuff. But then defensively, I mean, we spend a lot of time with alignment and, and, and motion and where you need to be. And I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a classroom setting, and, and it's just fun to watch our kids gravitate to it. How about your strength program too? Is well, it? yeah, I mean, I, you, you hit me in the head if I don't ever comment that. I mean, Coach Canales obviously and, and the commitment he has to that room, and then the kids. You know, I mean, the 6 a.m.s, um, you know, pulling that sled around and avoiding the cars and they're picking their kids up after school with the kids are working hard. And, and ultimately, it's we're fortunate we've got great buy-in right now. And, uh, you know, success kind of brings success. And hopefully we can continue to have kids motivated. When you took over, did you envision anything like this in your wildest dreams? Uh, no. Um, you know, you always want to be the best. You always want to, you always want to, to you know, I, I was a crazy guy in college. When I went to college at Iowa, but I want to win five national championships. Did anybody ever done that? <laughs> Alabama's working towards it. But, but, but I figured someone had to, you know, and, and so that's the mindset that I think you need to have is you get up today and, you know, I know Drew gets sick of me saying it, but you're getting better, you're getting worse, you know, and, and you got to, you, you should, you need to try, you know, if you want to be successful in whatever it is you're doing, you need to try to get better each and every day.